Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, no, we said we'd bring you guys some Civic content. We were hoping it wasn't going to be under these conditions, but my Civic had a visit from Uncle Rodney. I know, it's weird, four-cylinder, but got the car. They said it had a little tick in it, and we were thinking, you know, whatever, shim kit, it'll be good. And little did I know I was driving the car on no oil, no oil whatsoever. You didn't so, check it? Well, we did check it when we first got the car, but it was right after it was running. So then we forgot. It splashed up on the dipstick, and we forgot to check it after it had been sitting. So here we are with the Civic up on Jackson's in my driveway. And to do a quick fix on this thing, we are just going to drop the oil pan, drop that little brace, and we're just gonna see what rod it is that's knocking on the crank. Hopefully the crank is the damage. I'm praying the crank is the damage. And we're just gonna throw some rods in it. And we're just gonna bolt it back up and send it. Some rods, you mean? Oh yeah, not some rods, some rod bearings. We got a whole bought, rebuild kit here, but. I bought, yeah, I bought a whole rebuild kit because Initially, we thought rod knock and should have just stuck with our original plan. But when I was tearing the top end apart, we had noticed on this, these little retainers up top above the cam, that one of these were snapped. So we're like, oh, maybe that's the rocking because one of these was sliding back and forth. So oh, we have it over here. Went to the junkyard. There it is. Yeah, snap right off. Bam broken so we made a run to the junkyard and we picked that up which we took one of the little pieces off of and put it in mine put it back in put some fresh oil in it didn't change the filter that's besides the point um <laughs> and yeah started it right up didn't hear anything at first we're like yes we got it next thing you know i was like i was like oh so that brings us to where we are now so let's get tearing this apart and all we're going to do is pull caps and change bearings. Pull caps, change bearings. Quick, easy fix. Try to get rid of Uncle Rodney. Get out of here. All right, so what's the plan down here? All right, so we're going to drop this muffler out the way, or this exhaust pipe, and we're going to kick over to the side, and we're going to drop this pan. Well, first got to hit this brace. Get this brace out of the way, unbolt the pan, get our first look at the crank, see which bearing it is that's giving us these problems and we're just gonna swap it out and hope for the best hope uncle ragney don't stay all right we're down to the last bolt put your hand on that pan so it don't fall or is it staying right there I think the gas is gonna hold it yeah don't trust it keep your hand there just in case okay Let's see what Uncle Rodney's done. Oh, we gonna need a pry bar for that. Yeah. Make sure I got all these nuts off here first. Yeah. Yeah, that's everything. She just don't want to come down. Pry bar it is. Let's try to find an edge. Don't you love working on your ground? Oh yeah, dude. It's so cool. So comfortable, right? Yeah. Holy mother of pearl. Where's the edge? Well, not there, I tell you. All right, it is coming down. Right. Oh, it's slanging out. 
last beer. Go. Coming your way. Uh, it's hitting the Hold up. Hold up. oil pickup. Pick up yep. There you go. All right. Don't drip on me. All right. Shake some rods, man. All Let's right. see where Uncle Rodney is. This one? No. Oh, I wish I could rotate this. Might be this last one down here. Oh, there it is. It's number four. That, oh, look at that. Number, that's number one. That's number one? Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta. Yeah, number Actually, one. Let me get that breaker bar. We might have a socket that I can turn this with. Probably number 14. Oh yeah, probably like a 15 or a 16. I'll definitely turn that. All right. Definitely see. It. Shake number four. That's her. There's Rodney right there. Yeah, this one's not budging. Those ones uh, are up top. Yep. All right, I'll be right back and go get a. 15 or 16. All right, what do you Look say? Look at all these metal chips down in the oil down here. And then all right here, check this out. What's that right there in the bottom? Look at that. What's in that valley? What's that? That's a piece of the gasket. Oh, okay. But check out all that oil and the metal that's mixed in all up in here as well. Ooh. All that metal. That's what was giving us our knock. All that metal shavings down in there. So this pan's definitely gonna have to get cleaned out. You just want to replace all the uh, rod bearings then? Yeah, we'll probably have to go around and do that. I'm going to change gloves though. And get a little stretch in while we get this bolt or this socket for this crank so we can rotate it and get a better look. We are back and we have some lovely carnage. Don't we, Cam? Oh my god, yes. We have all of these bits of metal that are inside the pickup tube. And here's what's left of the bearings for the rod on number one, right? Yep. Yep, that's what's left number one. Paper thin. Show them the mains. There you go, Cam. Go ahead and take over the camera. All right. So what we have here is a pitted crankshaft for the number one cylinder that my Uncle Rodney came and destroyed. So, I will be on the hunt for a new motor for this car pretty soon. Hopefully, I wanna get the Miata done. Hopefully, this thing will last me until the Miata's done. But if it doesn't... Are you uh, gonna sloppy send it? Yeah, I guess. But I definitely just got some oil on the screen, so I'm gonna hand you back to Todd, and he'll clean that off and then talk to you. I don't have anything to talk about. We're just gonna get to work. All right. All right, guys, so we just got everything pulled out. As he said, everything is thrashed as far as cylinder one. And pretty much all these mains on the bottom were pretty much walked through as well. So uh, just to get this thing back on the road to avoid tearing the motor part even more because it's gonna need a new motor. I'm, we're just gonna replace these bottoms on the mains and just replace the cylinder one top and bottom rod bearing. So we're going to get that started for you. All right. Let's get these Actually, off. Let's get those out first. Thank you. 
copper on that one. Not surprising. This is really weird for me. I've never heard of a Honda with rod knock. And it just had to be me that had it. All Hondas get rod knock. <laughs> All right, so. Roll that out. Make sure the hole lines up. So it looks like this one will fall in. Make sure the tang's in there. Yeah. And it lines up. Even, I don't know why they're white like that. They look weird. Whatever. eBay parts. Actually, this is Amazon. Uh -oh. Look right. how hot the bearings got. It's like You're lucky they didn't like spin. Laying a nice TIG weld when you get that color. <laughs> when you get that heat going through it, it changes colors. That's what that is right there. That one's laid nice and flat. All right. And that white, that's a sacrificial coating, it wears down. Always want to line up that tang in there. Oh yeah. So you spin a bearing make real sure, quick if you don't. And make sure all the holes are lined up. Deeper, make sure nothing's Doesn't matter underneath how this. much you wipe it, Cam. That's not going away. No, I'm just trying to make sure there's <laughs> nothing underneath it, the bearing, when we put it in, like any debris or anything. Oh, um, you need to go get the assembly, assembly lube. lube. Yep. Off he goes. Always doing that. Oh. Each other sandwiches. Those pieces that were in the pickup tube. Alright. Hey. The good good. I don't think you need much because there's still that oil everywhere inside of it. Yeah. You're just giving it some initial friction loss. Okay, that's a scratch, and I thought it was a piece of hair or something. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? So we're just going to send it with half the mains being replaced, the lower halves, and then that one rod bearing. And we're just going to send it. Yep. Sloppy mechanic style. <laughs> Sloppy me Ch mechanics can be applied to more than just domestics. All nice and covered. Changed the oil filter in 50 yeah. miles or so. That Let it kind of wear into the wear marks. A new one changed real quick. Yep. And then get changed in 50 miles. So this means we're going to go find a used motor somewhere and build a used motor for boost. Right, Cam? Oh. That's right. <laughs> Probably LKQ or Cash and Carry. LKQ did have a lot of my year and body style Hondas with the D17A1. There was a lot of A2s, but I like most of those are VTEX and without swapping harnesses, ECUs, flashing ECUs. Just trying to get this car back on the road, so this was the quickest way. Hmm. All right. And I'd say we're doing pretty good because we started working on this car about two hours ago. Two, well, three hours ago, because we had to make a trip to the parts store, but yeah, we're coming along pretty good. We got the whole car disassembled, figured out the problem, and now it's getting reassembled. It should be done probably in another hour. All right, let's put her in. All right. All right. We're getting the main bolts put back in right now. It's all back together with our half main caps and one rod bearing set. And we're going to pray that there's no knock and Uncle Rodney is gone so we can rebuild another motor to swap it out. Yeah. All right, guys. Torque time. First pass will be 18 foot pounds. Right there to the click. 
And the second pass is going to be 38 foot-pounds. And this is for a D17A1. And the A2 is also the same torque. Or you can look it up on the famous Google and find out if you have something else or think that we are wrong. There's always people that think you're wrong. Hey, we might be. I might have looked up the wrong thing on Google. Well, I'm man. humble. All right. Catch y'all back in a few. All right. So Todd just had to take off. He had to take care of some personal stuff, but he's going to come back. In the meantime, uh, I just sprayed out the oil pickup tube because it had a lot of metal shavings and little burrs from the rod bearing and probably some of those mains so i just sprayed it out i dried it off really good because i don't want to get you know too much water into the oil pan um it did shake out a lot of the metal i put the jet stream straight on this back side right here and it forced a lot of the the uh, metal shavings out of the front so should be good there i just sprayed the pan out and I'm letting it drip dry hoping to get most of those metal shavings out I'm gonna go through it with a paper towel after it drip dries like a little bit more but underneath the car the main cap is torqued on we just went through all the the uh, torque specs on it and everything's good so next to bolt up is this pickup tube so yeah I'm gonna get to that all right so a trip under the car see everything is bolted up the mains done the oil pickup is done the only thing left is for the pan to go back up gotta grab the new oil pan gasket I know it's dark down here it kind of sucks but I don't have a light right now uh, yeah just grab that oil pan gasket line the pan up clean the pan out bolt it up and then bolt that bracket up and then we're done just need to get oil in the new filter and Fired up. Here, Funko Rodney's still here. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Good morning, baby. All right. Huh? Yeah, whatever. All right, back in the garage. So, we ran into a problem last night where we couldn't get it done. But, so whoever installed this oil pan gasket last they used like way too much rtv and it left us with all this little debris off the gasket which is came apart in pieces like all these pieces so i have to get all this gunk off of here so the new gas will lay down and make a good seal with this pan and yeah i'm gonna get to that and when it's all off, put the new gasket on and put the pan on. All right, so I just finished laying this new uh, gasket down. Got it RTV where it needs to be. Just have these screws in place to hold it while the RTV set in. And about to take these out because it should be dry enough and bolt this all pan on. So let's get to it. All right, so oil pan's back on braces back on now we just need to get some oil and a filter and then we're also going to break into that old filter show you guys the mayhem in there but uh yeah so you guys can see it everything's back on bolted up that exhaust is probably going to smoke like crazy because it's got oil all over it but yeah i'm going to run to the store real quick grab some oil and a filter and then when we get back we're going to break into that old filter put the new filter on and then Try and start up the car, see what we hear. All right, she's got oil. Uh, another problem I wanted to tackle before we get into starting it was this power steering pump. I already disconnected that line, so it hasn't been like that. But that power steering pump is bad. Every time I turn on the car, I just hear a loud whine, super annoying. So I picked up another one and we're just gonna change it out real quick. What's going on guys? I made it, I got off work. Hey Cam. Are we on the last two bolts before we start it up? We are. Oh yeah, exhaust going on. Thanks for waiting for me. I appreciate it. 
Ooh, somebody's been doing some cleaning. <laughs> I hope she don't knock. <laughs> I told her if I cleaned her, she better not knock, so she agreed. Rice Motor Company. Huh. I wonder if it's still in business. It better be. It's selling all these rice boxes. <laughs> All right. Oh, cam's done. All right. We ready? She got full oil? Yes, sir. Oil plug's tight? Yes. Oh. We shall see. Are you nervous? Kind of. Let me look at this dipstick real quick. Oh, oh, oh. I think you're going to wipe it off already. I mean, it's not truly accurate. Yeah, we good. Um, it's kind of up on the jack stand still, so yeah. you have to check it out again once it's on the ground. All right. Moment of truth, buddy. Oh, that power steering pump's going to whine, ain't it? Yeah. Let it idle. Don't rev it up. Just let it sit there and uh, idle. She's alive. Oh, uh, I hear an exhaust leak. They have a little bit of tick down there, it sounds like. Oh, yeah. That's why the power steering pump didn't squeal. Probably because I disconnected this hose earlier. Oh. Oh, oh there it goes. I had to say something. Ah. It doesn't feel like the motor's shaking. All right, let's hurry up and squeal, get it over with. Oh, that was it. Dude, it's idling smooth. The lights on? Oh yeah. She's smooth. All right, let's see if we hear Uncle Rodney at all. We did it. Yeah, the exhaust leaks gotta get fixed though. Yeah. I don't know how long she's gonna last. There we go. Half main bearings and one rod bearing cap. You back on the road, buddy. All right. All right. All right, guys. Now we can get back to business because he's back on the road. I can get my truck back. And back on this bad boy. And somebody put the bad juju on top of it with some milk. Oh, yeah. I almost cursed. Yep, some bad rings. Getting all this sheavings on here on that brand new oil pan. Some of y'all probably saw it in another video already. There you go. It's the Miata pan. It's got bottom in. We got that other video. We're trying to finish it and we'll get that one uploaded, but we had to uh, get this video done first. Look at all the metal shavings. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, we had to get him back on the road. So, you back on the road, man. Back on the road. All right, back to projects. Say bye, Cam. Bye, YouTube. Bye.